I am gaming here, and today we are going to actually go through the uh, Deadwood Jedi's um, clan boss calculator, speed calculator. So, by far one of the most important tools, ingenious uh, Deadwood Jedi, amazing putting this thing together. You and your team have done an amazing job, and I think this definitely helps. So, today's video, I'm go just going to show you how to. Um, go through the calculator of course there's videos there and you can definitely watch the videos there but how i set up my team and how i was able to figure out the best speeds um, for the best champs so to start um, we're going to take the total speeds here of all our champs i've already um, started to put this in the calculator one second here all right, so what we do know from this double man-eater comp is we need these speeds. So the first thing I would do is put the speeds into the calculator um, with some champs that you think you want to use. Um, and so here is the calculator. These are the champs that I ended up using, but I knew I wanted to use a poisoner, an extender, and a counterattack champ. I had these three, so I wanted to see how they would fit. So First step is scroll down the list and find the champ that you want and go from there. Second thing here is really at this point, it's just a matter of putting in the champs and then figuring out from there which one works best in which position. Um, so I did know that I needed 173 to 178 on um, my two damage champs and then 168 or 169 for brutal so I put those in to start just to see where it was. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I started with a Martyr at 169 and a Septimus. And then this is where I realized I had to switch. So here are my speeds of all my champs that are in the background. <laughs> the one thing that you need to do is uh, when you're putting in the champs, select Laura Steel. If you do, you know, right now nothing changes. But for me and my champs, I see here that Septimus has one perception set. So I'm going to set perception set on here, and you see his speed does change. It goes up by 0.1. However, if we select Laura Steel, it actually goes down, and that's actually a big difference. That point oh th that point three difference, as you could see, switches the turn altogether. So that is actually quite a difference. Um, here, I do have Laura Steele on Septimus. Okay, so that is his true speed at this point, is 168.8. Narma is my next champ. Narma is running with Lore and is running with one speed and one perception set. Okay, so when you click speed, set that one and one, so one speed, one with Lore, and as you can see, speed drops by half a point um, and that makes a difference okay uh, martyr i don't think it matters but uh, martyr is running one speed one perception set as well so select that one speed one perception and i believe martyr is running more steel yes she is <coughs> and then my two man eaters are not running Laura Steel and 215 and 218, but they are both running three speed sets. Okay, so there's all my speeds of the champs. This is for Ultra um, Nightmare Boss. So as you can see, here's the setup that we have. For rotation, um, the Fast Man Eater goes uses his A3 on turn count one. So my fast man eater is orange. I'm gonna delay this one turn to turn count one. The slow man eater is going to use the A3 on turn count four. So I will delay this four turns. And as you could see, this is the setup. Now, when you're looking at this, you see the speeds, Septimus is going last. However, 
after round three, Martyr is pretty much the last one to go. Martyr's counterattack is on a three turn cooldown, which means you're always going to counter on both AoEs and not have counter up on the stun. If you think about that, you don't want Martyr to be the slowest champ because in the turn meter, she will be going up here and all one, two, three, four will be burning their one turn on counter and you're going to be losing turns. So that is why Martyr needs to be here and Septimus needs to be the slower of the three damage champs. Okay, so I'm actually delaying Martyr's counter to start at turn count three. And then as you can see on here, Martyr will pop it. Only the man eater will go, but it'll be up for the whole round. AoE will hit. Uh, and then this is where we start to lose um, counter. And then as you can see, as we start to go down, Martyr uses it last. And then the boss hits, Martyr uses it second last, last, second last, last, so on and so forth. So you can see where Martyr's um, counter actually works well. Now the one thing you can do, if you don't have them fully booked, when you select the skills, they, it takes under the assumption they are booked. Um, so if you don't, you just need to increase, if, you, if it's on a four turn cooldown, increase it, the cooldown by one, and then you can see where you need to start. So counter, counter, fine, but then counter's gonna miss here. So I probably would delay it one or two turns. Um, it's not gonna work out nicely, and that's why you really need it maxed out to work out perfectly. As you can see with the um, man eaters here, uh, then on the second turn on turn count six. So when we get to turn count six, it's going to tell you that it's going to automatically pop the man eaters unkillable at this point. We don't want that. So we actually want to wait till the second turn, and then every time you see double man the double fast man eater, it's actually down here. So that's the one thing you know you just have to manually see, but you can see that it works. If I change martyr speed up, up, you could see that the the uh, turn meter doesn't actually change. Uh, so we are good in that sense. We go from there. Cool thing is now we can go switch this to nightmare. All right, nightmare does have a different setup, so the fast man eater is still going to use its A one or sorry, the unkillable on turn count one, and then the second attack on five. Okay, so if you see uh, turn count one, the fast man eater goes, and then on five, it's going to be the second attack. So we're gonna use it right before, and we're not wasting turns here, which is perfect. The slow man eater will go A3 on the second attack of turn count three. So, we are going to delay this. So turn count three, second attack on turn count three, actually it's the same thing. And then we're going to go. And that is a nightmare run. As you can see, Martyr will, uh, needs to change when she uses her counter because she is going the first round. So we are actually going to change this to use it right away. Um, so that she has it up, and then every third round she's popping counterattack at the right time. As you can see, she's always going counter here, um, and so it'll be up for a full two rounds. Only the one man eater won't be getting it. Brutal um, is a little trickier. Again, because I have my speed set for Brutal, timing works. Um, brutal setup is different. The fast man eater needs to use the unkillable on turn count four. Okay, so we are going to delay this to turn count four. The fast man eater will go. <coughs> and the uh, slow man eater uses his A3 on turn count. So slow, slow man eater uses it on turn count one, and the uh, fast man eater uses it on a, a three on turn count four. 
Just got to increase that one more delay. So there it is. And then um, this fast man eater will then use a second unkillable on turn count eight. Okay, so as you see here, this is turn count eight, um, the second attack. So you're going to delay this here down to here, and then you will be on auto. Slow man eater, a, uh, turn count one, and then the second attack of turn count six. Same idea. Um, we are going to delay it here delay it here and then we will use it here so there's actually two delays of this one um, to get set up so there you have it those are the three speeds but as you can see um, again martyr doesn't really work you don't really want to change martyr speeds and flop them you can if you want to get optimal damage but the way I have mine set up it is what it is um, brutal you get the same damage out of anyways as Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare with this setup, just because the boss is easy, uh, you can hit harder on the boss. But that is how to set up the speed calculator. Of course, there is a video uh, as soon as you get to the page um, of how this works, and it goes into more detail. He does a great job. I've simplified it for my team, but again, you can put anyone in here, use their skills. The cool thing is you can actually type, instead of having it A2, you can type what you want in here. Um, and it will appear here every single time. It just stands out for me. I call this, instead of unkillable, I call it fast. Um, uh, and uh, at this point, this shows you kind of the percentage of who's going next and and the, how much turn meter they'll have at that moment, uh, if, if that is the detail you need. But there you have it. That is the speed calculator from Deadwood Jedi's website and how to speed tune your clan boss setup to make sure you know exactly what's happening at the exact same time. This does not take into consideration any turn meter boosting um, on your masteries that you may have. So you need to be careful of that because those are random and percent chances. Um, but otherwise, have fun with it. You know, play up with these three uh, champs and see you know which team setup may work best. There you have it. There's a speed tune. There's some options. Play around with it. Have fun with it. Um, see you in the next video.